I find it interesting that Pharaoh addresses both Moses and Aaron by name. He accuses them of stopping the work of the Israelites. He sends his taskmasters out to increase the workload of the Israelites. Their job had been making bricks, and to do that they needed straw. Before, the straw had been provided for them. Now they had to gather the straw themselves, but the workload, the quota they had to fill, was the same. And this is when we all see what we really believe. When the thing we're hoping for doesn't happen. Not only that, things get worse. When we take a step backwards instead of forward. It's a time when we're praying for healing and get the news that it's gotten worse, not better. It's a time when we're praying for provision and another bill comes. It's a time when the roof is leaking and the heater breaks. Do those times turn you to worship and thanksgiving? That's the heart of a believer. A believer may have a moment of struggle, of complaint, of questioning, but then the believer remembers who this is, who their Lord is, who is their God, and surrenders again everything into God's loving and capable hands. We need our faith to be in God, not in things. He is unchanging, so our faith can be unchanging. Jesus is the rock, the solid ground on which we can stand firm. Putting your hope in anything else is sifting sand that will allow us to be shaken. The Israelites have quickly lost their belief and attitude of worship. They are mad at Moses and Aaron and say that Pharaoh has a sword in his hand to kill them. The sword came from obeying, not from disobeying. Moses falls with them and says to God, Why have you done this evil to this people? You have not delivered your people at all. He accuses goodness and holiness of evil. He accuses salvation of not delivering. Moses doesn't really know God yet. He sees the problems, not the one who had already overcome. Do you know him? What's your response when it's just all wrong?